very good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> this is uh, Rocco coming at you. This is going to be our first 69.2.2 drive. Um, and we're going to see if anything has changed in Salida. To be honest, I really don't expect much. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm not really going to put out, at least not plan to, uh, right away, too many videos in this version. Uh, a little bit of a phantom break there already. That's really all I'm hoping to be improved. If it can get rid of the phantom breaks, like the clear ones that are like seem to be geocoded, then I'll be happy. Uh, apologize for the little bit of wind noise. It's such a nice day outside that I want to uh, let Onyx have some air in the back. He gets to stick his head out the window, enjoy the air. Oh, we are having. Um, that's why. Like, look at this. The GPS issue. Look at that. They must have changed something regarding the GPS, maybe. Or it just is a coincidence, one of the two. That's interesting. Let's see if it's gonna break out the highway up here. So, it, uh, we got a cyclist coming up. Handled him good, and we got a car. Far too hard to break. Um, I had to press the accelerator there. I, I don't quite understand why they they seem to just assume we like right right there. Wow, it just super hard break again. It seems like those medians. That's what someone commented that the median um, is what's causing it to break so hard. So that was better. That that's that's appropriate. It could it could be better still, but that's appropriate. But yes, people were saying the they were commented that the median is what causes the break as it thought it was going to run over it or something last second and it, you know, freaked out. Um, it's hard to say. But um, this is doing good around this curve. I do wish like 45 around that curve. That That's one of those things that are going to be a comfort related um, tweak, if you will. Everyone's going to have a different level of comfort. To me, I would go 50 around that curve. It would be totally comfortable. To someone else, they would be scared to go 50 around that curve. And so, I think I think it's really important to have the different modes, you know, chill, average, and assertive, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mad Max, maybe. But um, to have different aggressive this modes, it seems like it would be ideal. Um, I'm probably always going to do average because... I, I'm, I'm probably in between average and aggressive. It really just depends on how I'm feeling that day and uh, the type of conditions I'm in or if I'm trying to have fun or that type of stuff. Let's see how it does on this turn, if it's gonna try and break completely to have a guy tailgating me. And he's also, no, okay, I'm having the, oh. Okay, all I did was tap the accelerator. Um, it was trying to break and then that car was behind me. He had his blinker on. I thought he was turning the same way I was turning, but apparently that wasn't the case. As you can see here, um, it's trying to break all the way down because of the waypoint. As you can see, the, the lines are off. This is better than it was um, a few months ago, but we did get that new map data. Um, this is the same it was on the last drive, and this corner right here is actually the same. It kind of hesitated on this corner for some reason. Not sure why that is. Okay, we got a car pulling out in front. Handle that very well. So obviously this is gonna be different from first thing in the morning where there's like basically no cars here. We have a little bit extra traffic, you know, not too much. I guess someone visiting from Georgia. So it is, I guess this whole area is more of a tourist area than anything. In 500 feet, turn left onto Gaffney Street. I don't think they, they probably don't know where they're going. <laughs> you have me, the car is following somewhat close by. Okay, so it braked and it's recelerating, and I guess that's acceptable. But again, this turn here, different time of the day. Now turn left onto it's Gaffney getting left, Street. it's showing it correctly on the map. That seems to be a little bit improved, but I'm gonna attribute that feet, to having to better address. lighting. You will arrive at your destination. It seems to be going a little bit too quick through here. And so, uh, fortunately, I have the navigation continue all the way through. 
Uh, so let's see if it stops at the stop sign. It's stopping too... No, it can't do it. So because the map, it's going based on poor map data. So look, this map data goes past that road and goes back around. It thinks this driveway right here. Um, so you, it can barely tell there's a road right here. For some reason, that seems to be pretty obvious to me. Maybe it's because it slopes down the hill. That might be why. Let's go back up. Let's give it another chance. Maybe it'll do it on the second try. Um, well, let me enable it. Is it going to, it's not going to let me, oh, there it goes. No, okay. That's not going to do it. Where's the camera? Oh, there it is. I don't know why I moved it over there. But yeah, so it seemed to think this road didn't exist. I think that's just, you know you it doesn't handle slopes well. It doesn't handle going up and down hills well. It doesn't read the road correctly. It doesn't have that much 3D depth yet, I guess. And so they need to improve that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, Mom. I, I guess actually I need to... Okay, Glennon has the, the routing... Whoa, what's... Now turn left onto West Main Street. I've never noticed this before. I, I have dots for some reason. Okay, good. I saw that car. We have the creep wall here, which I don't think it had last time. And it's very, very hesitant. Wow, extremely hesitant. Like, because he can't see it all. This is a blind turn. Okay. Besides being extremely hesitant, it did very well. Turn left to stay on West Main Street. Okay, so I'm not sure what that was. The dots are gone now. It's not obviously not cold. I've never had limited power on 56% before. So I'm not sure why that is. That hopefully nothing's wrong with the battery pack. Um, let's see. There should be a creep limit here. There it goes. Now let's enable that. Yeah, so that is an obvious change with this version. Uh, uh, no, stay... stay. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. And it should stay still because of this car. That's great. And it can go. That's fantastic, everyone. Wow, that, that handled it beautifully. Um, and uh, I guess I thought I was changing to another lane here. But regardless, it handled that great. Uh, the best it's ever handled it, actually. Um, it had oncoming traffic. And it stopped. It creeped very well, um, cautiously creeps. You give room for these people here. Great amount of room. That was the perfect amount of room in my opinion. It doesn't need the blinker here. See if we're gonna stop for this yellow light or if it's gonna continue going through. Uh, yeah, better. I did hesitate just a tiny bit. You can see it dropped down to 19 mile an hour, but definitely better. I'm going to up it because I am impatient. <laughs> and we're not quite in, um, we're not really school yet. We have another hour for that. Actually, it's summertime. School's on in session anyway. That's right. Actually, wait, no, no, it's not. School just got back in session. What am I talking about? Feet, but, um, yeah, so it's the same mistake as last time, but there's definitely um, they have definitely made some changes where it comes to creep behavior that is much uh, more cautious than it was previously. Much more cautious. And that's, um, so far, is a good thing. Um, that was a very smooth compound turn. I like that. Hey, I'm looking. I'm paying attention. My hand's on the wheel. Okay, so it braked for that truck. There's a phantom brake there. It's just, so I've had people tell me, oh, you should press the camera button. That's that's worthless. They can't tell. I'm like, oh, it's, it's trying to brake here. I'm like, they, they look for things that are wrong um, on the road. 
what, what, I, what you need to do in that case is press the accelerator, which I didn't actually do in that case. Um, just overwrite the accelerator. You should always have your foot in front of the accelerator and just overwrite it. Like right now, if it braked a little bit for that car, overwrite it with the accelerator. If it's gonna break, just overwrite it. Uh, and that tells the car, hey, right, right here, that should have braked for that car coming from the side right there. Nor does it really need to brake going down this hill so much. Like that car right there, it braked a little bit for that truck. It doesn't need to do that. And so, by me overriding with the accelerator, I'm telling the car, I'm submitting that data to Tesla that, hey, uh, you should not brake here. It's like, I don't want you to brake here, I'm overriding you. And that tells that it's an intervention every single time. But it's like right there, it brake for no reason. Uh, every single time, let's we'll see if it's going to break right here. Usually breaks really hard, yeah. So not as hard this time, so that's an improvement. Still not great, still not perfect, but that's an improvement. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, again, Tesla sees that data and it's like, hey, we shouldn't have braked here because I'm overriding it. If it's every single time, that, that helps train the system. So we're going to see what that gives. I'm going to do our crazy hill test tomorrow, if you look right here, a little little um, preview of what's coming tomorrow. At least I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. Um, and probably the video might not get released until Wednesday. But um, yeah, I appreciate everyone watching. This is going to be the end of this one. A uh, few minor improvements, but we're still in the right direction. It didn't go backwards this time. So it's great, great to see. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.